Hey guys, very lovely, and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we went around Terminal of Field and collected some heart pieces. And in this episode, we're going to head to the next area, the Northern Mountains. But before we do that, I wanted to do something here in Clock Town first. I took the liberty of playing the Song of Time and getting some items we'll need before we head up the mountain off screen, which are just bombs and arrows. But it was like the final day when uh, the last episode ended. But I want to come here first now that we have bombs and arrows to the Honey and Darling shop. <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, would you like to play? Today is Bomb True Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> One game is 10 rupees. Okay, so we'll play the game. So this is the Bomb Chews. So I haven't really explained what these are, but these pretty much are just bombs that go along the ground and up walls and all these weird angles and I'll just, it's easy to show them. They are timed, so if you hold them in hand, they can go off if you hold them long enough, but it's really not that bad. It's got to kind of line itself up and go for it. Oh, come on now. This can get kind of annoying because of the, like, not, the whole thing's not, like, round. It's, like, the uh, edges and stuff, so got to kind of get used to that. Man, damn it. You guys kind of wait, but I'm just being impatient. Ugh. Okay, now I'm just getting stupid. Go. Go, bomb you. Go. What the hell are you going that way, man? Okay. Straighten up here. And just put it down. Okay, that won't work. Am I really going to fail this? Oh my god. How did it go that way? What? <laughs> it hit a target. I'm not going to question it, but... Oh my god, come on. Come on. I can't hit this one target. There we go. Can I just go nuts here? Just nail all three of them? Four of them? Well, that was awful. Well... That's how not to use bomb chews, but I'm just gonna cut ahead until I do it. Okay, there we go. Not that hard, just, yeah, if you find a spot on the platform instead of moving around like I was doing, it's, it makes it a little easier. Okay, so we got that done. <laughs> Did you see that? Honey, he got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. And they give us some money. Okay. So now we got this done, we can start heading to the Northern Mountains. I believe that's all I want to get done here for now. So we'll have to come back here on the second and third day to get that done. But I'll just meet you guys ahead at where we have to go. So just exit outside the North Gate. Okay, here we are in the snow here. We want to go head up there where that icy passage is. And not get hit by these stupid dongles. We are there the two arms. Those are some of the weird enemies. It's like they just took a lizard. Made it big and cut off its back legs and just put its tail where the back leg should be. I don't know. Good creature design, maybe, but I don't know. Could have been a little more creative. But come up here. And we have these big butt cheeks of ice blocking our way. So what we gotta do, this tattle would say. Up here, take a look at this, goddammit. I bet if you had a weapon that was strong enough, one shot from it could pierce right through this piece of crap. Well, it might take two shots. God damn it. So, as she says, one, and of course, two, and it comes down, and the icicle penis goes right into the butt cheeks and blows them up. Okay, up the mountain we go. So, I apologize for any background noises you might hear because, yeah, just my family's here again. But, and they have this, they feel the need to blast the TV very loud downstairs. But anyways, enough of that, we come up here. And there's giant snowballs everywhere. So it's gonna keep going. You're gonna wanna get bombs before you come up here, because if you don't have bombs, you can't do a damn thing about these giant snowballs. And wouldn't you know it, there's some giant snowballs in our way. So, do a bomb. Go. Oh, maybe that'll work. Eh, well, you know, it works. Up we go. So. Um, yeah, about my upload rate and um, what times I uploaded, I've noticed that. Um, the video I upload at night, like 11 or 12 at night, it doesn't get as many views as the one I upload in the morning. I, that's kind of what I figured would happen, because like, yeah, it's up, it's up all night and who the hell is up at night watching my videos. Apparently some people are, but not as many as the people who are up for my video during the day that I upload when I wake up. So this video is probably going to be going up maybe 6 o'clock tonight to get my viewers there, so it's not like 12 at night. I think that'll work better, so have my morning video up until, like, uh, maybe supper time, and that should work a little better. 
So I'm gonna have to start uh, recording more at night. So that should work out actually now that I think about it. But I come over here and get a stone. Yeah. Let's just explode here, I guess. See what we got. What's this sign say? Mountain Smithy ahead. We sharpen any sword. We work hard so your sword works hard for you. Let's go talk to them, see what they gotta say. So these are smiths, apparently. Oh, there he is. Jeez, he's gigantic. Looks like, looks like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Shut up! Just when I was having a good dream. This guy is dressed very weirdly for the winter. Oh, welcome to the Mountain Smithy, where we take our time to make a good point. I am Zubola, the owner. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Shut up over there. That huge fellow is my assistant, Gabola. He's all blonde and about as smart as a Deku stick. Say, did you come to have your sword sharpen? Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now. It's because of this abnormal cold snap we've been having. See, our hearth has been frozen over. The way things are going now, I won't be able to do any business till spring. If I could just do something about that frozen hearth. Hey, what's that? You say if we had hot water, we could melt the ice off the hearth? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, you Deku stick. Oh, he believes a rumor that says long ago there were hot springs somewhere in the mountains near here. Bah, I don't believe such rubbish. So, we could get a sword uh, sharpened here, I guess, if their shit wasn't all frozen up. So, they were talking about a hot water spring. We might want to keep that in mind. But for now, let's see what else we got up here. There seems to be someone over here. Let's see what he's got to say. Oh, look at a familiar face from Hyrule. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up here, up here. I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I am very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. Dude, just jump, man. What, what, what? Are you? Oh, it is so cold. I'm so very hungry. I don't think I'm going to make it. I just want to eat once more if I die up here. Something tough and hard to chew. I cannot forget that flavor. Something tough and hard to chew has a flavor, apparently. Just throw him a rock and let him have his way with that. But, so we can't really do much here. That's, we can't go up there because it's deadly. Don't want to go there. And what do we got here? The big wall. Deep water. Gorgons, beware. Gorgons who can't swim shouldn't play near here. I would like to see how Gorgons swim. But anyways, yeah, that guy on top of the rock there was the Gorgon they're talking about. But... He's the only Gorgon that seems to be around, so let's go exploring. What do we got here? Gorgon Village ahead. Beware of the White Wolf Oaks. So apparently this is the way to the Gorgon Village, so let's start heading there. Let's go meet some more Gorgons. And what do I see over there? It's Tingo. Get it. Yeah, I was one of the stupid guys hiding in the snow, but... Okay. Let's go. So, these are the white wolfos I was talking about. They're, like, basically no different from the regular wolfos. Okay, let's see what Tingle has to say. Maybe we can get a map out of him. Oh, yeah, we have, we have enough money. Tingle, get your ass down here. And bam. Hopefully a snow softened your landing there, Tingle. What's this? Green clothes, my fairy? I'm talking the same thing as I said to you earlier. Buy my map, because it is friendship, and I will do my dance of happiness. Well, possibly retardedness. Okay, so let's buy a snowhead map, apparently. Yippee! Then we get the map of snowhead. Call again. Tingle, tingle, kulipa! And so now we have the map of snowhead. Apparently that's what it's called. Very snowy indeed. Guy yeah, wolf -o. Stabbing the butt. Wait the butt with my sword. I gotta go clean my sword out of all the wolf -o's poop now. Nah, whatever. Okay, what do we have here? Hey, more Gorgons. I guess this is the Gorgon village. Yeah, I say. It's cold. Being the gatekeeper in this cold is her hard. Do you want to enter the Gorgon shrine? Oh, sure, why not? Then I'll open the door with a Gorgon pound. I'm gonna close it right away so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? So he's doing the Gorgon pound. Whoa. Okay. So that opened it up. The door is already open. I'm gonna close it right away, so hurry up. In we go. So this guy's apparently the gatekeeper. I don't know why he's not at the gate and like up on top of the gate, but whatever. What the hell? It's like 
some weird clangs going on in here. Let's see what the word is. What do you gotta say? I wish someone would do something. Ooh, I can feel a pounding in the back of my head. So apparently there's something making noise. Go see what it is. So this is like the Gorgon Shrine where the Gorgons hang out, I guess. But from up here... So this must be like the temple where the Hyrax or the Gorgons live or something. Come in here and... Oh, what is this? What the hell is this? Wow, daddy, daddy, it's cold, daddy. So apparently this baby Gorgon is making all this damn noise. You guys say, we're at our wit's end. The elder went to Snowhead and doesn't seem to be coming back. Now his son's so lonely that he won't stop crying. God damn it, I just want to beat this kid. Oh, I just want to punch him and break part of his head. God. Look at those Gorgon toys over here. It's like blocks and stones, but... We can't do much here now because this kid just won't stop crying for any reason and he's just making that meh noise, so... Let's just get out of here and continue on. And make cool jumps! Okay, that wasn't very cool at all, but... So let's explore Gorgon Village a bit more, I guess. What time are we at here? And we got time. Okay, so... Oh, another business scrub. What are you... What are you selling? Hey, what's up, bye. I'm doing business with a focus on a Gorgon clientele. I'm sorry, but you are a racist. You said you are a racist. So I don't like talking to racists, so we will leave. Okay. Oh, if it isn't... Oh, yeah, here he is again. Who hooped? We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statue been of help? Indeed they have, but you haven't. Well, it seems you may have strength to change the fate of this land as I had expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorgons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Except me, because I am an owl. And I enjoy snow. I make snow angels. Shut up! It's, I, I, I like my work. My anyways. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. So, will you proceed? Yes, I will. Hoot, you are a child of many strengths. That pleases me. Yes, pleases me indeed. Come back to my nest for a little. No, 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 no. And so we're heading to his nest, apparently. Apparently his nest is over there. So, you want to pay attention to his feathers, because he says follow you, but... Watch his feathers. They stop. Now let's jump on them. You'll see why this wizardry is in a few minutes here. Gotta be, you just want to be careful, jump feather to feather. And we made it to his nest. Hoo-hoo, I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. Even though it is covered in feathers, that isn't- Oh my god, I can't believe I'm still saying that. Shut up, man. Anyways, something that will aid you when your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. So apparently there's some secret item here. Let's go see what it is. Cool. And we get it because no one else decided to jump off in the middle of nowhere. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got the lens of truth. So this thing pretty much just reveals things that are invisible. And once you take the lens out of the chest, this happens. There's a skull still up there, but he didn't come down for some reason. So, um, the lens does take up magic power, so you might want to keep that in mind. But this is a trick to do to stop that. So yeah, this is what we were saying. Whoa! To just, uh, go back in and out of the lens, and it will, it won't waste any magic power. You just gotta kinda get this, that weird <laughs> noise. What the hell? What is this? Hey, you. Hey, ugly. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. But I think we're gonna follow behind this guy next time, because it, it, it'll take a while for, to follow him where he wants to go. So, question of the video. Um, in spite of all this snow nonsense we have here, what's your favorite winter activity? So, it could be like snowmobiling, snowboarding, eating snow, licking frozen posts, 
making yellow snow cones. Yeah, my personal favorite is, I like drinking hot, like hot chocolate or something, you know? When it's like really cold outside, you've been outside like all day in the cold, it's like, God damn it. But it's just, it feels so good coming in just having like a hot coffee or just like a hot chocolate. I just love that feeling. It's probably like my favorite feeling of winter. Just coming in, warming up and just how good that warm feeling feels. Yeah, it's probably not much of an, I guess that's kind of an activity drinking hot chocolate, but yeah, so leave your answers in the comments below. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button so it's been the better love. Let's play Majora's Mask and we will follow this weird creepy ghost next time. Later guys.